Hey coach, welcome to course three of the iCoach Kids e-learning program. Coaching on the ground, planning, doing and reviewing. This is chapter one, planning for success. I'm Dr Andy Abraham, head of subject for sport coaching at Leeds Beckett University and coach for Otley Zebras under 12's rugby team. A big part of my research and teaching is about helping coaches understand why we need to plan and the best way to go about it. The truth is we all plan, even if we don't realise it. Every day we wake up and we start planning our day. Some of us even do it the night before. We decide what we're going to wear, what we will have for breakfast and which route we will take to work. We will take into consideration the weather, potential roadworks, and what meetings we might have on that day. Why do we do this? Well, because planning is an important way of trying to exert a little bit of control over our lives so we can achieve whatever goals we have for that day. The alternative can be a chaos and improvisation and that is exhausting and loaded with chances for something to go wrong. In coaching, we plan for the same reasons. Even the origin of the word coaching implies planning as a key component of the coaching process. The term coaching was originally coined by a bunch of lecturers at Oxford University to refer to the process of taking students from where they were to where they wanted to be in the future. Coaching is often simply and falsely seen as being the delivery of a simple coaching session. However, the reality of coaching is typically about facilitating the development of people over the long term, often over the course of months and years. It follows that in order to facilitate development, coaches must be able to look beyond the daily planning of sessions and embark on a mid to long term goal setting exercise. And that's what this chapter is all about, ensuring that when developing a session plan, Coaches see how each of the activities links, not only to the learning objectives of that session, but to the mid and long-term goals. This helps coaches and participants stay on track and remain focused on the bigger picture. After completing this chapter, you will be able to, one, explore the key elements of your sport in depth to build a working model you can refer to in your planning. Two, understand and use the key elements of season planning. And three, be able to design sessions and activities clearly linked to medium and long-term objectives. Trust me, this is not a small feat. In my experience, planning is one of the elements of coaching that coaches struggle with most. In fact, planning can work against the human condition. As Daniel Kahneman says, Humans typically do first and maybe think later. Whether because of a lack of time to plan or because we are reluctant to think forward and stare at a blank page, planning is central to success. So remember these two adages. Failing to plan is planning to fail. And the first thing you need to plan is making time to plan. Okay, let's crack on with the first section. Keep calm and plan on.